Good day, viewers. You walk to the banking sector, you find out that majority of the staff are science-based. And then you ask yourself, why? This is the why. Now, this set of questions were derived from the United Bank Africa aptitude test question and answer on mathematics. Now, to our art-based individuals, this set of questions looks difficult. But on the contrary, they're actually very cheap. And in this class, we're going to see how cheap they really are. Before we continue, please, we are begging for your support. Your support keeps us growing. Please, if you're watching us via YouTube, below this video, you're going to see a subscribe button. Just tap on the subscribe button to subscribe. That is how you support us. And that is how we grow. Thank you. Question number one. Solve this sum. The options are given on the board. For number two, there are eight ounces in a half pound. How many ounces are there in seven Phone number 3 over 4 LBS. LBS LBS here stands for what? Pound. You have the options on the board. Now for number 1. We are given decimal numbers. But the options are in fractions. So let us convert this to fraction. To convert to fraction, first of all, do away with decimal points. To do away with decimal points, you move it backward. You move it forward. 1. 2. You move twice to clear the decimal point. Now you become 25.0 or you see 25. So this is 25 over 1. Now how many times did we move? We move twice. So you add two zeros to 1 to make it what? 100. Plus, you come to this, you have to move the point twice to clear it. It becomes 65.0, which is 65. So you have 65. 0, 6, 5, same as 65, all right? Over 1. We also move twice, you have 0, 0. Now we add these two fractions. This is a like fraction. To add like fraction, pick one of the denominator. Like fractions are fractions with common denominator. All right? 100. Then the numerator, you have 25 plus 65. And this will give us what? 90 over 100. Zero cancels out zero. You have 9 over 10. And that is given by what? Option B. You see? Option B gives the correct answer to number one now move to number two now for number two we're told that eight ounces are in half pound let us interpret this half pound lbs contains eight ounces all right now they're asking us how many ounces do you have in seven or number three over four pounds so you write it under pounds here seven or number three over four lbs we contain how many pounds we don't know let's make it what why have something like this then we'll do what we cross multiply like this now i'm going to be working with just the numbers all right let me leave the unit aside or so i get as y is under ounces okay so i cross multiply y times half i have y times a half equals seven number three over four times eight let me change it to miss fraction seven times four four times seven is 28 plus three i have 31 over 4 times 8. Okay? I solve this. Jeff can cancel out 4 here 1, 4 here 2. So my y times 1 is y over 2 equals 31 times 2, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 3, 6. So y over 2 is what? 62. So what is my y now? I can put over 1 here. Whenever I have equality sign between two fraction, I always cross multiply. All right, so y times 1 gives us y, then 2 times 62. And our y is what now? 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 6, 12, 124 ounces. All right, and that is given by option what? D. Option D gives the correct answer to number 2. I see how simple they are. That is all. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's bye for now.